and tonight is special because we are focusing on dance. It's a collaboration between the uh, Oxford Improvisers musicians and uh, a group of four dancers. Um, there will be silences, uh, not as long as the one that you've just experienced getting to this particular um, concert, but there will be silences. Do not adjust your set. Um, it's, it's just arrangements uh, and dramatic effect as such. It's all part of the performance. Uh, roughly this will be a, a continuous performance once we start. Um, there will be gaps but generally it will, it will free flow through uh, and we'll control the visuals um, throughout the piece. Um, and I'll pass you over to Lizzie now to, to introduce you to uh, the whole concept as it's been her role as curator for this particular event. So over to Lizzie. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, welcome to everyone again for watching and listening tonight and thanks for your patience. Um, I'm really excited to present this project today. Um, music and dance have a long history of coexisting and working together. In many cultures and the ancient world, dance and music were not seen as separable. But since both art forms have been more detached from their ritual and spiritual origin, the possibilities of expression widened and changed in both art forms individually and in collaboration. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the modern dance evolved from ballet and found more its own identity based on improvisation and authentic emotional expression. From the 1920s, Rudolf Laban experimented with dance improvisation without music or improvised live music on stage. Buto, a Japanese contemporary dance form developed after the Second World War, pushing boundaries of sonic and visual experience and expression even further. Also famous is the collaboration between Mercer Cunningham as dancer and John Cage as musician from the 1950s onwards. Their collaboration was simply to agree on the overall duration of a piece and to compose and choreograph in isolation until the performance. Since the 1960s, dance theatre emerged with more experimental use of movement, dance, music, text, sound and image. Most famous representative in this context is probably Pina Bausch. Free music improvisation emerged in the late 1950s from free jazz improvisation, although the origins are not 100% clear, as protest to the rigid conservative music culture at the time. Today there are excellent free music improvisation groups and soloists for whom the personal free musical expression, listening and sharing is the most important. I'm proud to be part of the Oxford Improvisers. But there are other musicians here who are experts in this area and who can say much more about it than myself. This is just a little snapshot of the rich creative music and dance scene. So in this event, we try to merge dance and music and visuals in the context of free improvisation. Based on the individual background of each dancer and musician, we will find a common communication through the unique improvisation techniques and vocabulary of each participant. There are four open scores created by the four dancers, which are the basis for the mutual exploration and communication in improvisation. The dancers are Natalie Descombe, Karen Gonevardene, Andrew Solway and myself, Lizzie Spite. And of course, all the musicians from the Oxford Improvisers. Solo interludes between the scores played by Mark Brown, Lawrence Cassily and Gero Kempf. I hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you.
Thank you. 
Okay, that's the um, the end of our planned performance. Uh, thanks to Lizzie for um, doing the curating and arranging this. Uh, thank you to all the musicians who've been involved in putting this together. Uh, apologies again for the, the very late start. Uh, next time it won't be so late. We will get things done on time. Uh, at some point in November, we will be uh, broadcasting again 
and this time we'll be looking at um, things that involve um, spoken word. Words, voices, spoken words uh, merged in with improvised music. Um, I think everybody ought to make themselves visible now as there's been a number of people in the background. So there's Dan. So this is the, the whole collective who have entertained you this evening. And uh, thank you very much and we will see you again. Thank you.